first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5. Right now, we are learning more tonight about the dramatic moments before last night's police chase and search for a suspect. We now know the chase started following a traffic stop in Niles with the suspect fighting an officer. The high speed chase crossing state lines ending with a shootout at a suspect found dead in downtown South Bend. Now for you here at five o'clock, we have team coverage as we track major new developments tonight on the police pursuit and manhunt that we first brought you as breaking news last night here at 10 and 11. And we now know the name of the suspect in this multi-state chase and search. Police now saying 32 year old Joshua Ringle of South Bend is the person who died at the scene last night. Investigators are still not saying how he died. WSBT 22's Juliana Ferfari has been covering this since it started. Juliana is live tonight where this all came to an end and Juliana, you've been digging into Ringel's arrest history tonight. Yeah, Ringel has had previous encounters with police. He's been arrested multiple times in St. Joseph and Elkhart counties on charges such as burglary, assault and pointing a gun. Today, police are confirming that Ringel was found dead at the bank of the St. Joseph River, running away after a police chase that stretched from Niles to downtown South Bend. Now, while police did not hold a news conference today, they did answer some of our questions. They confirmed that Michigan State Police was the only agency to use a weapon and that those shots were fired in Indiana. We asked how many shots were fired and who fired first. We were told that is still under investigation. A South Bend police car and a Michigan State Police unit were both damaged during the crash. An Indiana State Police spokesperson said that no officers were shot during last night's incident. Status. Shots fired by police. Shots fired by police. Updated location. Are you guys still mobile? We're coming up to Angela. Once again, Ringo was found dead near the bank of the river. Police not saying today how he died, but an autopsy is scheduled for tomorrow when we expect more information. Reporting live in South Bend, Juliana Ferfari, WSBT 22 News.